these guys are an American French Basset. These guys are 11 weeks old and they are kennel trained and potty trained. Firm and up to date on the vaccinations. This is mom. She is an American. She has won five best in show. And this is dad. He's a French Basset. American and French Bassets can live up to be 18 years old if you do their diet and just about everything correctly. We do have a Facebook page that you are so welcome to look up and read our clients' reviews. We've been doing this for 10 years and rescuing them for four years. The transitioning. You will get a care package that supplies the history about the type of basset that you have, a blanket that we do make by hand, and the special treats, toys, and everything else, such as the blue buffalo and puppy chow natural that these guys are on, same as mom and dad. These guys are ready to go to be adopted. We are 500 for the tribes, which these guys look like they may turn into a redhead. A redhead is like dad. This is a lemon. She is a chocolate point. She is going for six, and these guys are five. They are AKC, but papers are a little more. You're always welcome to leave a message if you'd like to know more about these beautiful guys. We do have litters and that are expecting and all have a waiting list. You're always welcome to come by and take a look at our beautiful bassets. We do give updates every week. You'll know when their eyes open, when their teeth coming in, when they're learning to walk. That's beautiful. And the transitioning from mom to food. You'll know when the kennel training is done and the potty training is done. You will see it by video every week and you will get photos every week about your new baby. It is an important time because you are getting a new member to your family. So we do want to make sure the transitioning and everything is going well. They are not an aggressive Bassets. We do have all types. Egyptian, Egyptian blue nose, French, American, English, and other sorts. We do have long hair and we these guys are short hair Bassets. So if you'd like to know more about us, please take the time to look up Basset, B-A-S-S-E-T-S, Queen, Q-U-E-E-N at Facebook. You can stroll down. We do have several different sections on Facebook that does show you all of the Bassets we have. We do have the world's smallest Basset will be in a Guinness book this year. He will be the world's smallest Basset. He is incredible. He is a tribe male. He's actually an American Basset. And we do have an albino which he never got color to his feet or his nose but does have brown eyes we also have had a blue basset she was beautiful she's been adopted out and she was all gray and white and had the most bluest eyes so we've had the most rarest bassets here at basset queen we've been majorly blessed with the Bassets. These guys do mean a lot to me. I do do a background check to make sure you do not have no animal cruelty put against you. It is important that we do make sure that they are not going to any homes that can be aggressive. They do get the one-on-one -on -one and the love from all of us here at Basset Queen. So if you feel that this is the best member to your family and you would like to know more about Bassets, you are more than welcome to give us a call or look us up. We would love to answer any of your questions. You will get the pads that they are trained to. We recommend not to take them to Petco and buy the pads there or PetSmart because if those pads are torn, these guys do pop a squat on the pads and what will happen is that they will smell the urine and when it has a tear in the pads, it will turn into a gel and yes these guys will lick it and it can get lodged in a lower intestine five thousand dollars to remove that mass if god forbid it could be removed 
especially stay away from any small bouncing rubber balls that you can get from a quarter machine the same thing will happen these guys are very intelligent and very very smart Mom. these guys do know how to hunt they do go after gophers out here in Alcahoon that we do have they do go after field mice they do go after little rodents such as lizards and anything else that may be walking around they do understand commands they do go by whistle and see they definitely um, are used to being in the pack when they are one on one they do leave here and go to your home without another pet there they can have anxiety issues which we do work with you if you do have an older dog in the home we do ask you to keep in mind that these guys do get attached to their other mate and if the other mate is an older basset or other type of dog, Jim Shepherd, Poodle, whatever it may be, and God forbid if that dog may pass while these guys are still young, they will go through, it's called, and it's not a myth, they do go through a broken heart. They will pull themselves away from you. They will no longer eat as well as they will, God forbid, passed away because their heart has been broken. So females, they do go in your every five months. So that means once a year. They will have two cycles. We do not breed our females back to back. We do not um, believe in that. I don't. I believe the female should have no more than three cycles. And that means once every three years, they will have a cycle. I will wait until they've had at least three cycles before I will allow them to have any babies. And for the males, they, they usually have their manhood dropped by the time they do leave here. I do not have any males at this time. These are just females. But however, we do recommend for you to wait to fix your male until he is a year old. Because they can go through a, basically they were stuck in a puppy phase. So if you do it while they're still young, before a year old, they will never get that testosterone to go through their system. And they will be stuck chewing on things, biting things, running around like a mad child that's two years old. <laughs> so I recommend wait till they're at least one. Um, and by all means, keep them away from any females that do have their cycle. <clears throat> they can smile in a seven mile radius of your home for any females that do go into their cycle. They will stop eating. We do have a problem with that with our males. We do give them a weight gainer because they do stop eating. They are loyal to a female. Uh, they will make sure they are the only male that will be the male to lock with them. They will lock about two to three times. Roughly about 45 minutes they will be locked in each cycle so it varies on each female and male but for the males we do have here they are weighing which this is ninja he is a four-year-old basset and he is weighing about 90 pounds mom she is roughly going on three and she's out there somewhere in the field she well, well, actually, she's hitting about, mm, I would say, 88 pounds. So, I don't really ship these guys out because we've had my adult Bassets come into me and there has been delays in different areas or they have been shipped in different parts. We do deliver, but, however, delivering, it does come down to the cost and our time that clients do pay for as well as everything else we do take deposits waiting list is 150 down that does go towards your deposit day of picking your puppy out also we do give you a sign color collar that your puppy will wear and in the videos that we do post by youtube and by facebook you will hear us mentioning the color 
when we do mention the caller, we do not mention your name. We do not say who you are that adopted the puppy out because it is not the, anybody's business. We do send out confirmation codes to our clients the night before they are due to pick out their puppy just to validate that you are the mother and father that is adopting our Bassa Queen puppy. If you have any questions and would like to know more, feel free to look at other videos that we have posted under Bassa Queen on YouTube. Also, take the time to look up our Facebook. We do have seven at the border crossing here in San Diego, 10 at the Texas border crossing, meaning they do sniff out the drugs. We do have the governor and we do have NASCAR drivers that have adopted our puppies. We do have some celebrities, but unfortunately we are not allowed to use their names. So we have to just state that we do have our babies everywhere. And my biggest thing is to stay in contact if down the road you are unable to care for your basset we ask you to please do not take your basset to any shelter you bring the basset back to me and i will give you updates on the family that i believe would be suitable to adopt your basset you will still get updates about your basset if you decided to get updates after they have been adopted we look forward to hearing any of your questions and any questions that you may have about your basset Take care and thank you so much for watching Bassett Queen video.